Hello everybody, it is the Musical Gamer again. Good day to you all, I come bearing new news about Persona 5 this time. So some news actually just recently dropped about Persona 5, and that there is going to now be, well as of, as of this video, actually as of yesterday as I'm recording this, there is now the Persona 5 Ultimate Edition that you can now purchase over on the PS3 or the PS4. Now, the Ultimate Edition of this game is going to actually have, uh, or is going to be bundled with a bunch of the DLC. Actually, I think it's pretty much all the DLC. But the game is going to cost a whopping $115 on PS3 or a whopping $125 on the PS4. So, for those of you who have not actually gone out and bought Persona 5 as of yet, and, I mean, seriously, who, who hasn't played this game yet if you have a PS3 or a PS4? I'm just kidding, but it is a really damn good game, and you should get it, but eh, before before jumping on this Ultimate Edition deal, or this Ultimate Edition deal, you might want to hear what's actually inside the package that you're paying, you know, basically a little bit more than double the base price of the game for. Now, the DLC that is included in the game includes all of the Persona packs, all of the DLC costumes, with the background music as well, and the original Japanese audio track, as well as the item set, skill uh, skill card set, and the additional difficulty level. Now, it's also good to know that the healing item set, the skill card set, and the difficulty level are all free of charge for the base game as well. I'm not sure if that is the same now, as well as the dual audio Japanese audio track. The original audio track in Japanese is also free. I'm not sure if it's still the same case now, but uh, when the game first came out, those items were indeed free. The only paid items that you had to buy were the DLC costumes, some of which came with background music, which I'll point out in a minute, as well as the swimsuit packs, the Christmas packs, and the Persona packs. So the DLC costumes that are bundled with this, considering that the other things that are free are coming with this too, I'm not going to really count those. You'd be able to get them, no matter what version you got, free of charge. The DLC costume packs, however, that you would have to pay money for normally, are the Catherine pack, the Devil Summoner Raidu Kuzunoha pack, the Persona 2, Persona 3, and Persona 4 packs, as well as the Persona 4 Dancing All Night and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax packs. Now, uh, there's also the Shin Megami Tensei If pack, the Shin Megami Tensei 4 pack, and the Shin Megami Tensei Persona pack, so the original Persona. Now, each one of those games, or one of those DLC costume packs based off of those games, come with background music for the game, uh, particularly just a battle theme that you can hear whenever you are in a battle. It plays the battle theme for any of those games and for games that don't exactly have a battle system, like Catherine. It plays, um, oh, what's the name of the track? I think it's called Stage. It's just called Stage, but it's a pretty good track. So all of that is bundled together in the DLC costume packs. Now you also get the Persona packs, which is the Ariadne and uh, Ariadne Picaro, the Asterius and Asterius Picaro, the Izanagi and Izanagi Picaro, Kaguya, Kaguya Picaro, Magatsu Izanagi, and its Picaro variant, the Messiah and Messiah Picaro, Orpheus and Orpheus Picaro, Thanatos and Thanatos Picaro, and Tsukiyomi and Tsukiyomi Picaro. So that is all of the Persona packs that were available for the game. You can now also get right out of the gate with the Ultimate Edition, should you so choose to get it. Now, if you are a person who has bought the game at release date and you have pretty much paid money for these DLCs already, there's no reason for you to buy this Ultimate Edition as far as I can tell. There's no other sort of, you know, extended mode. There's no, like, Persona 5 The Answer, <laughs> basically. Or Persona 5 Golden or, you know, Crimson, as people were kind of thinking about on the internet after the days Persona 5 came out here in the States. So... There's none of that. It's only bundled with all the DLC that has come out for it thus far. So, if you don't have the game yet, and you're totally okay with spending $115 to $125 
for this game and all of the extra added on aesthetic features, because that's essentially what these are, then this might be a good time for you to go ahead and do that. If you don't really care about the aesthetics, then I would highly recommend you just go buy the base game. Don't worry about the costumes. Maybe buy a couple of them a la carte if some of them interest you and some of them don't. But you can also get the healing item set, the skill card set, the extra difficulty level, and the original Japanese audio track for free, at least to my knowledge. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, somebody please correct me down below. But I'm pretty sure I'm not, because those were free day one, and I don't think they have changed that. So that is all for this little Persona 5 news update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you liked the video, and if you have any other topics you'd like to see me cover before, or in, in the future, I should say. And you might notice that the gameplay that's going on right now is actually of my own Let's Play of Persona 5. I'm still currently sitting in my basement on my new computer with no editing software, so there is no footage that I can edit or throw together, so I've literally just thrown a YouTube video on and I'm just letting it play. But luckily it's my own content, so ha, no infringement over here. So that is all for me. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, the next news update, or what have you. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.